Okay, so uh, this example, I'm going to really just replicate the example that I did for um, uh, serial communication with just sending a button to change a circle into a square, uh, except I'm going to do it with Bluetooth. Exciting. So uh, we'll, let's start with the um, Arduino code. Uh, sorry for all the extra stuff on here. Really, the circuit is just power to one side of the, sw of the button, uh, ground uh, through a 10 kilo ohm resistor, and the, the and that side going also to pin two on the microcontroller. These down here are cruft from the previous setup, sorry. Uh, so I've downloaded the uh, Arduino BLE library already. Um, you can see up here I've got Bluetooth turned on also, which is kind of important. Um, and so uh, here we can see in the code, I'm just going to walk you through this line by line because there, there's a fair amount here, but most of it's up top in just the, the setup. And it comes with um, you know, declaring the button and, uh, and the, serv you know, the service and characteristic more than anything else. So first I include the Arduino BLE library. Uh, I've got a variable here for, or constant, for the pin that the button is connected to, that's pin two. Uh, and then here I say BLE service, and I give it a name. In this, in this case, I'm calling it button service. And then this is the UUID. So I used the, um, the, that online generator tool right here, uuidgenerator.net. And I created a new, uh, a, a new, a new uh, number that I popped in here, right? Um, so that creates the service, and then here I'm creating a characteristic that's going to send a byte, right? So it's a val so it's a number between zero and two hundred fifty-five, um, and uh, I'm calling this the button characteristic, and I've given this its own, uh, it, it given it its own um, unique n number, right? So I just generated a new one here and pasted it in. And then these other arguments right here say that uh, this characteristic can both be read by the, uh, by, by the uh, central device and uh, you know, this can notify the central device when it's updating. Um, there's also the, uh, the BLE write. So if we wanted the central device to write to this characteristic, but we have no interest in doing that right now. Uh, so inside of the setup, uh, I'm starting starting serial communication. I don't need to do this. I'm only doing it for debugging purposes, right? Um, so uh, and then I've got this right here. I'm waiting until the serial port is open for debugging purposes again. This is more so that um, I can see what's going on inside of here, uh, more than it needs to be done, right? So if I wanted to, I could comment this stuff out and still work fine. Uh, I've set the button as an input, and then here I initialize the BLE modem. Uh, so I say, um, so this just basically says, can I start the modem? If not, then there's a problem, and it terminates right here. It just hangs forever in a while loop. If it starts, then it just keeps, keeps on going and passes through this. Uh, here we set a name for the, that the peripheral is going to advertise so we can identify it. You'll see this in my, in my sketch in a minute. Uh, this is the UUID for the service that this peripheral advertises. So set advertise service, button service, right? So I'm referring back up to this. Uh, here I'm adding the characteristic, my button characteristic, to the service. So now the service has this characteristic attached to it. Here I add the service to the to the, to the modem itself to the library, uh, and then here I'm going to just initialize a value to send. So this is going to be what it sends out when it first uh, you know when it first connects, um, and then I start advertising the service. So this is basically like the you know the, the the modems walking around like with the megaphone being like I'm here everybody I'm here, so uh, anybody who's in range would be able to see this service broadcast as button uh, and subscribe to it. Uh, so inside of the loop, um, I've got a couple things here. So BLE poll, this looks for Bluetooth events. So are things connected? 
Uh, have we received any information from a central device? Uh, you know, it, it, it's basically just making sure that everything's like working fine and dandy. Um, here, uh, I'm reading the current state of the button pin, storing that into this variable button value. Uh, and then I'm only going to send data when the button state changes. So when it goes from high to low or low to high. Uh, and so I've got this Boolean here to just check and see if it's changed yet. Uh, so here I'm saying if the button characteristic value does not equal the button value, then the button is changed. And so this right here gets set whenever you say like write value. Uh, it actually sets this uh, it, it sets this uh, th this as an internal value. So think back to in P5 when you had an object that had like a dot notation, like my object dot xpos, and you made that query and it would return the value. This right here just returns whatever value was last sent. So the last time something was sent in our first time through the loop was zero. So if somebody's pressing the button, zero and one don't equal one another, and then the button changed is true. And if the button has changed, then we update the characteristic and we write this value out to the connected device. Now, you could just do this through every loop, but that's, uh, that's just taking up extra bandwidth that you don't necessarily need to use. Um, and then uh, I'm printing out the value to the serial monitor. I don't need to do this. Um, you know, it's just more of a, uh, in fact, I'll only do this if it changes, so we won't, we don't overload the serial monitor. Um, so I'll upload this and give it a second. Uh, while this is uploading, I'll walk you through the uh, P5 sketch. So uh, in P5, now you need to use Chrome for this. There, it's the only browser that actually uses uh, BLE on the web. Um, so, uh, so, so you got to use it. And what I'm doing here is I've got, uh, I've got a variable right here, the service UUID, and I'm using, uh, this, I've got the same service ID that I've got in my Arduino sketch here. So this way I, I don't look for other things that might be trying to connect to my computer or my browser. I'm only looking for this one device, uh, that has this one particular service. I've got a couple other variables here, one for the characteristic, one for the latest uh, data. Um, uh, you know, so, you know, this is just sort of like a status thing, so nothing yet. Um, and then I've got a variable right here, my BLE. This is going to hold an instance of the BLE library that I have included inside of my index file, right, right here. So this is the CDN that holds the uh, P5 BLE JS library for us. Uh, inside of the setup, I've got my canvas. I create a new instance of the library. This is a new class, my BLE. It's a new P5 BLE instance. Uh, and then right here, I'm creating a, a button that is going to serve as a way for me to actually connect to my peripheral device. So um, this button right here is going to appear. I'll run this and you can see it. Uh, this button appears right here, and when I click on connect, what it's going to do is it's going to give me a drop-down menu of all the devices that I can connect to. Now, it's only going to be limited to the things that have this service UUID, fortunately. Um, but you can see right here, we've got, uh, we create a button. Um, so it's called connect button. So when connect, when a mouse presses the connect button, then we call the function connect to BLE. So inside of connect to BLE, we say myble.connect, we pass the service UUID into this, and then we say got characteristics, right? And so this is going to return whatever characteristics are uh, inside of the, the service. But here you can see when I say myble.connect, we want to pass it like the, uh, the, this, the service that we're looking for, the specific one. So that way we don't get like uh, some random device connecting to our uh, computer because as you saw in the previous video, there are dozens of things around. And this is like, I'm the only one here right now, I think. So <laughs> there's still a whole bunch of things that are just like out there talking. Uh, so um, 
this, uh, this function right here gets called once we have got our characteristics. Uh, so this will provide us a list of all the characteristics on this microcontroller. Uh, and so it's, uh, if we get an error, then it throws an error and prints it out to the, to the, error, to the console. Um, otherwise, what it does is it prints out the characteristics that are available. And then we've got, uh, it stores all of these into an array. And since we only have one uh, characteristic, we're just going to look for, you know, uh, you know, index zero in this. Um, so, uh, and that's, you know, that, that's, that's the only thing that we really need. But once we've done this, then we can read uh, any value that we might get here. So my ble.read says, what it does is it reads the value from the characteristic. And then when it reads something, it knows that it's supposed to, uh, th that whenever it receives something from my characteristic, which in this case is our uh, button characteristic, then it calls the function got value, right? Uh, or I'm sorry, it, it stores it in the, um, it's it, sorry, it stores this in the uh, uh, variable got value. So whenever we read something, store it in the variable, that's great. Um, so, or, or sorry, we, we call this function right here. Um, so here, this is the function that gets called. Uh, if we do get something from the characteristic, uh, if there's an error, then we print it out. Uh, if there's no error, then we just we print it out to the console, and then we store that into our variable latest data. Uh, and then we say, hey, now that we've got this, let's check and see if there's anything else there again. So this is if you wanted to like, maybe like if after reading something, you wanted to like disconnect from the service, or you wanted to call a different characteristic, or do something else. Um, but in our case, we just want to continually read from this characteristic. So next time we read from the characteristic, get this value, we're good to go. So this will just run forever in the background. In the draw, I'm just drawing this uh, square. And then uh, whenever I receive uh, a 0, I draw, a, um, I draw an ellipse. Uh, otherwise, you know, I draw the rectangle. Now, I haven't done anything here, so latest data. Uh, does not equal zero, um, so it's uh, it, it, so it's going to give me a, a rectangle. Uh, you can see received a nothing yet because I still haven't connected. So let's connect. Uh, so I click on connect. Uh, it'll say it wants to pair, and after a moment or so, it's going to be scanning. Um, oh right, uh, let me cancel this. In my P5 sketch, I've got, or in my Arduino sketch, I have this serial begin right here. So let me start this, uh, and we can see. Okay, so Bluetooth device active, waiting for connections. So this is now active and waiting for connections. So now when I click on connect here, there we go. So we see wants to pair with button. That's the name of this microcontroller that I've got and the service that's running here. So then I say pair, uh, and so. It says received a zero, right? So we keep on sending out the zero. Now, if I press the button here, received a one, and we can see it update inside of here, one. Then I let go, and it's a zero, right? And so this is not uh, this is not connected serially. I just have power coming off this. I could power this off of my phone. I could power this off of a, a battery. Um, but it gives me freedom to move around and have remote control for my sketch, which is kind of very exciting. Uh, so this is how you send uh, a connect to a Bluetooth device or B Bluetooth low energy device to P5JS and uh, how you can get data in there. Um, working with uh, multiple characteristics, um, you know, it, you can just continue to add characteristics and then uh, deal with it inside of here through this array that you that you uh, that you've got right here. Um, there's also ways to pack multiple things into a characteristic. Uh, in future videos, uh, I'll show you how to send multiple sensors. But for the time being, sending one thing totally awesome and rad, and uh, we'll end that here.